Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you're just joining us for the very first time, um, you are welcome to my channel. I'm going to start looking at the 2017 IGCSE ICT um, past papers. In this video in particular, I'll start looking at the February, March um, 2017 paper 21. And um, I already downloaded the files that I need for this paper and um, I'll be able to put up a link um, to these files below this video or so um, and then I'll include um, the mark scheme as well as the worked files that is the very files that I'm working on I'll be able to attach them as well so that you can follow along um, if it, in case you don't understand the mark scheme and all okay so um, all right so let's get started with our work uh, for today um, so so this is the February March um, 2017 paper 2 one and um, I'll go straight into the scenario you will do some work for the wood store a company that makes wooden furniture you are going to perform some tasks for this company so task one is a evidence document so open the file M2017 um, evidence.rtf and you to place in the header your name, center number and candidate number so that these appear on every page of the document and um, save your work document in uh, rather save your evidence document in your work area as evidence followed by your candidate number for example evidence 9999 so you need this evidence document to store screenshots of the evidence that you are instructed to produce and answer to answers to questions okay so let's go ahead and do just that okay so open the evidence document and you are going to insert um, a header choose blank three columns as usual Chikasa Evans um, ZM 556 and 0001 okay so close your header and save this file in your current folder as evidence okay followed by 0001 now you're not told to change the file format so it's fine if it remains as it is just click on save okay so let's go back to the question paper so task 2 preparing a presentation so now what I want to say about this is that uh, you'll notice a slight change um, in this paper in, in terms of the format. Um, in the past papers, that is the 2016-2015 papers, you see that presentation was um, somewhat towards the end of this paper. And um, in this case, presentation has been brought right at the beginning of the, um, um, the question paper. So this shouldn't really confuse you. Um, the same um, work, the same law, the same style of working um, you would need to follow. Okay, It is just the layout of the paper that has slightly changed and this shouldn't really be an issue. Okay, so step number one, create a presentation of three slides using the contents of the file M um, 27 form.rtf. So I'm going to open um, PowerPoint and open up a new PowerPoint slide, a presentation rather. Go to file, open, and browse to the location where your files are and open M27 form. Okay, and it will load three files I understand there are different ways that people use um, to load these files others they just copy the stuff from a word document and um, paste it in different slides that's fine but um, it's much easier to just open the RTF file um, in PowerPoint and it will load because the different um, um, files that are on the or the different work let me just show you something um, so open the rich text format file and you will see that all these are in different headings so this one is a different heading this one is a different one it's a different one so as you try to load this each one has got a different hierarchy and each one will be loaded and so this one with a different hierarchy will be the slide title like this one will be slide title slide title this one with the second um, um, 
uh, hierarchy will be more like a subtitle and this one will be more like the main text sort of okay so files that usually have this hierarchy can easily be imported into a PowerPoint and they will be distributed um, um, on different slides uh, with a different headings and different titles and you shouldn't really worry about that alternatively you can copy this and paste it um, in, in PowerPoint um, and that should again be um, be a problem okay so let's go ahead and um, open this one I already opened one so it's more like a duplicate okay so um, let's go back to the question paper so just to create a master slide with your name center number and candidate number displayed on the top left corner okay so um, let's go ahead and do this step before we go to the next one so let's put our candidate details on the top top left corner so go to view and select slide master go to the top most slide okay and I'm going to drag or change some of this stuff um, is you are you are okay to do that or you're allowed to do that um, and then I'm going to put some text box um, let, let me not put a rectangle let me put a text box um, so insert a text box and um, I'll put Casa Evans ZM556001 okay and you notice automatically that this will now appear on every slide that you um, you you have you see that it's appearing on every slide that's the beauty of the master slide now you guys you must be very careful when you work with the master slide because um, PowerPoint has a tendency sometimes uh, when you go to normal view and then you come back to slide master it has a tendency of picking up this slide um, and then you may not notice that actually um, you are working with the last slide and when you try to change some of the features you see that they are not appearing on the um, on all the slides in normal view it's because you are working with this last slide here so take note of that guys and scroll up and uh, get to um, this um, um, to this uh, first slide okay that's the one that is um, known as the theme slide master okay so let's go um, back to the question okay so we have been able to put our name center number and cut a number on the top left corner okay so we're going to insert the text the wood store to appear in large letters such as um, 36 point right aligned with no text wrap at the top of the master slide so this one is going to be at the top of the master slide okay so I'm going to insert again a text box but it must be right aligned so we'll say the wood uh, not the word <laughs> the wood store I don't know if it was in capital letters let me just verify that it's not in capital letters so we'll need um, to uh, change that so let me just uh, verify so every beginning of the word is capitalized so I'm just going to say capitalize each word and then I'm going to write align this one okay and make it 36 points okay and um, I don't know what else we need to do so we've put the text wood store in large letters it's the six points right aligned and no text right um, text wrapping um, so um, yeah there's no text wrapping it's just a single word okay so I'm going to push it a little bit up so that it is aligned um, straight with the other text and it is aligned with the margin of um, the right side okay next we are going to um, create a three to four point wide horizontal line across full width of the slide okay so below the title okay so it is going to be about um, two centimeters from the top okay so what we're going to do is just to come here and I'm going to put a line which is about two centimeters so this is 9.5 um, this is one and two is going to be slight around here so around 7.5 we should have it too so I'm going to insert a line here so put it put a line now the line guys should be um, should be 
across the slide okay so don't make the line just to end there so it should be across the slide like that so make this line um, the width so go to um, outline and then weight and then make it three um, I would like it to be black so let me just change it to black okay I hope that is three um, three black that should be fine okay let's go back here and um, notice that we're told that it should be at least two centimeters um, from the top so this is at least two centimeters from the top according to the measurement you could also put it slightly here um, that is to find it to be acceptable okay so let's go back here and um, apply well I, sk I skip that so it's slight um, let me see we're going to create slide numbers in the center at the bottom of the slides okay so come back here the top more slide and we're going to create um, slide number um, okay so I could easily just delete this one or let me just go to insert and insert slide number make sure that slide number is selected here and apply to all okay and then um, we are told that there is no other information that is going to appear so I'm going to delete this one and delete this one and then I'll center this one okay so this is center and then I'll go home and center it as well so make sure that it is centered you should see um, a red line uh, demarcating to show that this is actually the center of the slide right so come back here and then we're told to apply all elements to the master slide or to all slides okay so this is done and then we're going to make the first slide to be a title slide with the layout of title and subtitle center aligned on the slide and then um, so let's go ahead and just do that okay so from here now we're going to view this into um, in normal view okay so you have your master slide and then you're going to have your normal view <laughs> And you should see that you have um, this and you have page numbers appearing on every page now we're going to make the first page or the first slide as title slide so we're going to change the layout and then make it as title slide okay so that looks beautiful um, next thing that we're supposed to do um, is, uh, okay where are we so makes the first slide as title slide with the layout of title and subtitle center aligned on the slide so everything is center aligned and that looks good um, then we apply everything to the slide and then lastly we save this presentation um, for later use okay so let's go ahead and save this um, presentation okay so we'll save it um, in our work area and let's save it as um, the wood store okay presentation okay all right um, so I'm gonna have to stop here um, in this um, video I'm gonna continue with part two uh, where we're going to start looking at um, document production and um, so I'll see you just in a short while um, when we look at part two of um, this paper